This is Jupiter Today for the 25th of March, 2015. Jupiter Today is a daily podcast focusing attention on the dynamic Jupiter system for the purpose of monitoring activity. Today there's eight Jupiter satellite events and one satellite mutual event. At zero hours UTC, EO begins the day in quadrant two, heading west, and is joined by Europa, also in quadrant two, heading west. Ganymede's going to spend all day in quadrant three, heading west, and Callisto is in quadrant one, heading east. At 1.37 UTC, Europa goes through an apogee, that's the furthest distance it's going to be from Jupiter in this orbit, and that's 677,369.2 kilometers. At 2.05 UTC, Callisto goes through an apogee, that's also its furthest distance from Jupiter, this orbit, and that's 1,896,341.1 kilometers. And then at 2.14 UTC, Io goes through a perigee, that's the closest it's going to be to Jupiter in this orbit, and that's 420,047.3 kilometers. And as you can see, the apogee of Europa and the perigee of Io are on the same side of Jupiter. By six hours UTC, Io is still in quadrant two, heading west, but going to be transiting fairly soon. And that transit actually begins at 748 UTC from Earth's point of view. This blue line is the line of sight to Earth, and this gray line is the line of sight to the Sun. So at 748 UTC, EO begins its transit of Jupiter. At 846 UTC, the shadow of EO ingresses. At 10.05 UTC, the transit of EO ends. And at 11.04 UTC, the shadow of EO egresses. By 12 hours UTC, EO has successfully transited Jupiter and is now in quadrant three, heading west. And Europa is still in quadrant two, heading west, but going to be transiting fairly soon. And that begins actually at 14.40 UTC. At 1640 UTC, the shadow of Europa ingresses, and notice that's exactly two hours between the beginning of Europa's transit and the beginning of the shadow transit. At 1733 UTC, the transit of Europa ends. By 18 hours UTC, Europa has successfully transited and is now in quadrant three heading west, and EO is near its western elongation, going to be moving into quadrant four, heading east. At 1933 UTC, Europa's shadow egresses, and at 2314, EO goes through its apogee, the furthest distance it is from Jupiter, this orbit, and that distance is 423,553.4 kilometers. And notice that that's exactly 21 hours from the perigee. From 2332 to 2337, Europa occults EO. And that's about where these dots are. It's a 4.8 minute event with an impact parameter of 0.414 arc seconds and an estimated magnitude flux drop of 0.292 magnitudes and a nice distance from Jupiter, 82.07 arc seconds apart. And at zero hours UTC tomorrow, you can see that EO is now firmly in quadrant four, heading east, Europa quadrant three, heading west, Ganymede also in quadrant three, heading west, and Callisto over on the opposite side of Jupiter from Ganymede going east. Orbital ribbons for today. These are the temporal and spatial connections between the four Galilean moons. You can see Io's orbit, Europa, Ganymede, Callisto, and these are just the connections between those. So there's Io and Europa, 
eoganamine eo and callisto that's a nice twisting shape there and Gan uh, ganymede and europa europa and callisto and finally ganymede and callisto and then i combine all these and colorize them get rid of the orbit lines and we get that for today 24 hours of Jupiter sky, standing on the equator of Jupiter, rotating with it. So over a 24 hour period, we rotate a couple of times. Just saw Eo pass in front of Europa. And there goes Eo with its transit and then it's shadow and there goes Europa with its transit and shadow The red spot crosses Jupiter's meridian twice today, the first at 6.13 and the second at 16.09 UTC. There were no new images, no new radio data, and no new papers. So at zero hours UTC, the position of Jupiter on Earth's celestial sphere is a right ascension of 9 hours, 1 minute, 52 seconds, and a declination of positive 17 degrees, 55 minutes, 32.5 seconds. The angular separation between Jupiter and the Sun, as seen from Earth, is 128.902 degrees, and that's 1.039 degrees less than what it was yesterday. The phase angle, which is the angle between Earth and the Sun, as seen from Jupiter, is 8.346 degrees, and that's 0.126 degrees greater than what it was yesterday. The distance between Jupiter and the Earth is 697,662,734 kilometers, and that's 1,853,613 kilometers greater than what it was yesterday. And that gives a radial velocity between Earth and Jupiter of 77,233.88 kilometers per hour. The distance between Jupiter and the Sun is 799 million 784,933 kilometers and it looks like four or five days from now it'll be passing its 800 million kilometer mark so we'll look forward to that that distance is 44,338 kilometers greater than what it was yesterday and that gives a radial velocity between Jupiter and the Sun of 1,847.42 kilometers per hour at zero hours UTC the central meridian, CM1, 210.59 degrees, CM2, 232.79 degrees, CM3, 153.62 degrees. Time of this recording is 11.54 UTC, 23.54 UTC, on the 24th of March, 2015. So please subscribe, hit that subscribe button, tell everybody that you know about this podcast, really like to get as many watchers and followers and subscribers as I possibly can because this is just a small part of a larger project that you can read about more in the description video so you can send your comments and images and questions suggestions to the email shown and until tomorrow I bid you peace